from Little Gloss and Glaze and I welcome you all to the channel. I'm here with a brand new video which is a get ready with me. Now I was going somewhere and I decided why not do this really fun video so that you could just get ready with me. <laughs> so if you are interested, let's dig in. Keep on watching. Hi guys, so just I'm using my Clinique Moisture Surge Spray. You know how much I emphasize on moisturizing your skin. And then I'm gonna take my Garnier Oil Control Moisturizer and apply it onto my face too. After that, I'm gonna prime my face by Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer and just blend that into my skin. I'm taking my luscious camera stick foundation and generously applying it onto my skin. I'll apply it onto the outer edges of my face like on the outer parts of my cheeks and temple and nose because I have to apply another foundation too. Another foundation that I'm using is by Makeup Forever, it's their HD stick foundation and this one I'm gonna apply it onto the inner parts of my face because this is a little lighter than my actual shade. I'll correct my under eye uh, dark circles with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm using their shade in orange and I'm just gonna apply a very small amount only where I need it. Then I'm gonna take my Diana of London Concealer and apply it exactly where I applied the orange concealer. Now I'll take my Sephora Concealer and take a tiny tiny amount and apply it where I applied the earlier concealer and I'm taking this one slightly towards my temples. Then I take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and apply it under my eyes for highlighting purpose. This one is a tad lighter than my actual concealer shade. So you could see I'm applying it onto my nose and on the sides of my cheeks and just blending it all in. I'll take my luscious compact powder and apply it directly under my eyes so that the concealer is set and doesn't budge throughout the day and to control the shine I'll apply it onto my forehead and onto my nose. For contouring and bronzing I'm taking Micellin Bronzer in High from Hawaii and carving out those babies. And don't forget to contour out your nose because that's very important and that gives your face more definition. Using my Tarte blush in doll face, I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and taking it back towards the ear section and I'll apply a small amount onto my nose and onto my chin area. My, for my eyes today, I'm using Naked Smoky Palette and the first shade that I'm using is called Combust and this is my transition slash crease shade. I'm going to directly apply it into the crease and give my eyes a little blown out look. Then I'm going to take the shade Password and apply it directly into my crease a little underneath the first shade so that I can define my eye a little more. Then I'm taking the shade slanted onto a flat shader brush and applying it all over my lid. Uh, I wanted a little more boom effect so I spritzed it with my uh, Clinique Moisture Set Spray and applied the same shade again all over my lid. Then I'm taking the shade 
black market and applying it onto the outer parts of my eye onto the V you could say to define my eyes and create that smoky effect that I wanted and that's what I'm doing applying it onto both my eyes just onto the V I'm not bringing it in a lot I'm just applying it onto the edges and buffing it with a big blender brush Then you guys, I'm going to take the shade 13, which is the lightest in the palette and apply it directly under my eyebrows to create a more uplifted effect. For liner, I'm taking my Diana of London Super Fine Liner Pen because I think that's the easiest liner pen to create a wing with and you know me, I love my wings. So that's what I'm doing, just winging it. Uh, now that's totally up to you. If you want to wing, you can apply it. If you want a more subtle look, you cannot apply the wing and go with a simple liner. This part is totally up to you. Now from, now from the same palette, I'm taking the shades Redar, Black Market and the brown one uh, for my lower lash line, smoking it a bit. I'm not really into falsies so I'm not going to apply them and I'll just go with my Miss Manga Mascara. I think this gives you such voluminous lashes and such a beautiful effect that it almost looks like you're wearing false lashes. And of course we can't forget the highlighting so I'm taking the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow and using Sunburst and Bubbly onto the high parts of my cheekbones and my nose, Cupid's bow and wherever we highlight. For the lips I wanted to go a bit nude so I'm using the shade Whirl by MAC because that is the beautiful most nudest coolest brown for our skin tone. So guys, this is a complete look. I wanted to go a little subtly smoky with the eyes and then a little nude with the lips. I really liked the way it turned out and I hope you enjoyed it too. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm so excited to be uploading it because this is really my first Get Ready With Me kind of a newbie in it so I hope you excuse the mistakes and if you have any feedback let me know comment in the section down below subscribe to my channel like to like to my channel like my video and hit the bell button I'll see you next time bye